What is going on guys, it is Rising Sinks here and welcome to episode 6 and the first episode Ooh, Bit of dog hair, dog just jumped up on my lap and decided to headbutt me But episode 6 of our Started From The Bottom series, we are still with Eastbourne And this is how pre-season and the first game of the season has gone 6-0 win against Bashy, 5-1 Drew with Charlton's under 23s won 3 0 against Berry and then just won our first game of the season 3 1 against Slough. If we have a look at transfers, uh, what's actually happening here? Oh, I rejected that and Jaden Dope. Yeah, okay, bye bye. But we have brought a couple of people in. Um, I, I, I regret this one, but I can't get rid of him. But I'm not paying wages for him, so it's all good. Potential wise, he is amazing. Potential, he's, he's good. Where, where's his potential? It's not going to tell us his potential. But he is not good at all. And I can't terminate the loan. Loans may not be cancelled within the first 28 days. Yeah. Fun. However, we then brought in Nathan Clements on a free transfer. He's a two and a half star, five star potential. But he is, he is on the wing and he can also play up front because we need the extra depth there. Then we also brought in Adebiji. I was going to call him Emmanuel. Three star current ability, five star potential ability again. Very solid all round player right now, formerly of Welling United. And Watford, and I believe Welling last season got to uh, yeah, they also got to the playoffs, and they were the ones that lost to us four two. So, eh, but we've taken one of their best players, um, who did cause us a bit of trouble. 20 years old as well, he, he's got potential. He has potential. Just the determination's a bit suckish. But then, because of how bad that was, I then decided to go to Old Shot Town and try to bring in this guy permanently. But they wouldn't allow it permanently because I didn't have any transfer budget. However, we have signed him on a loan deal and... Is currently two and a half star, potential five star. He is. Oh, he's probably signed a non contract. Ooh. Damn it. <laughs> Got to do a full transfer for him. Wait, hold on. Yeah, they want 44,000 for him. I do not have that money. Because we've only got 35 in the bank. However, our committed spending is 6400 which is over our wage budget. But we are currently spending, guaranteed, a week, 6050 So, we're working within the wage budget. We have mid-table for the just basic National League South. I don't know where I'm going with that. Oh, well, I do know where I'm going with that. I just completely lost what I was going to say. So our league... <laughs> Jesus. Our league expectation is to finish mid-table. They want us to get to the fourth qualifying round again of the FA Cup, which we didn't do last season, and to get to the first round of the FA Trophy, which I believe we enter at the second round anyway. Apparently, we've already passed the financial damage that the club had. However... <sighs> If you look at projections, just because it is a target, so if we don't do it, we could get fired because of it. It's not looking right. It just does not look right. And there we go as well. We've got another player coming in. I knew that I was hopefully going to go through. But Jaden Davis. I said I didn't care about it, but 
Look at this. <laughs> Four-star current ability, five-star potential ability. Very pleased to sign a player of his calibre. We now are overloaded in the midfield, but would you rather a stacked midfield than anything else? We've got a lot of rotation around this episode is literally mainly this. There will be one game, but what can you do? So, what am I going in here for? All right, so we are... Come on. Well, how how many how many do we have? Is this just not gonna okay? People who can play in the midfield. That is a lot of players. But obviously what is he? Wow, I've only got one keeper. Looks like I need to go sign a keeper before I move him back down. But we look at this. Obviously, we're not going to play that guy even though he's on loan. We will just... Oh, he's got good ability, though. It's the only reason why he's still around. God damn it. Ah. Well, I'm going to quickly sort this out, and then I will join you guys back once we are in our first game. Okay, guys, I wasn't able to sell anyone or get anybody to leave apart from uh, Watton. Um, Double-checked his reports and everything, and okay, it showed he was five-star potential, but this was the level he was maxed out at. So, it is what it is. But we are going to go with a team of coal in goal. We've got Anderson, Guile, Parker, Bradley in the back four. We've got Emmanuel and Lamprick as our midfield two. And then Anderson, Hamilton, Lua and Welkdale as our front four. So, here we just checking if I had any tea left, but I don't. <laughs> but anyway, here we go. Second game of the season. First game of this episode. Which feels weird saying that after knowing that I played the first game of the season, not recording it. It, it feels weird. I don't know why this keeps changing. Can we just go back to the stats, please? There we go. And I don't want it. There we go. Just completely get rid of it. I don't, I don't actually care. I can see it at the bottom for my team. That's all what matters, really. Now, Paris. I hope you guys saw Paris there. One of our former players. He is now the Maidstone. He joined them on a free. Even though I offered him a contract, um, he just didn't want to take it. So, it is what it is there. And then, boom, boom. Boom. Hopefully looking to get the win this time. And that's a brilliant ball to Welpdale. He tries to cross it in. It's blocked. It's crossed in yet again for Anderson. And he hits over the bar. So. It looks like we're going into the halftime break. At 0-0. Unless if we can make something out of... This chance here, Lua to Hamilton, back to Lua. What a good save! That was a very good save. But I'll give a bit of encouragement. Lamprick crosses the ball to no avail, but Bradley Green manages to get it, crosses it back inside. And come here, come here. But the dog just. Running around, scratching everywhere. And hold on a minute. That's Hamilton in for his third goal of the season. It's too busy trying to make sure that the dog don't bark. But um, I missed what actually happened here. So Bradley Green just launched it to Lua. He passed it back to Green, who... What a 
that all right that was a very good cross So now we've got Lamprick. Anderson crosses it in for Lua, but can't look at Adibi. And that's a good save there by Lewington, who takes it out. What is he doing there? Oh, wow. Okay. Keepers are a bit silly. Parker to Lamprick. He gets taken down by Paris hard. But that is going to be it. We are going into the halftime break. With a 1-0 lead. So, what do we say? Guard against complacency, of course. Of course, he is demotivated. But anyway, into the second half. Oh. Here we go. What's going to happen here? So we've got a corner. Nothing comes of it. Sorry about that weird cut as well. I'm going to assume that it looked weird without looking back in Hamilton again. Oh, my days. That was such a good header. And Anderson with the cross. Hamilton, well, Anderson to Hamilton, and it was a good cross. But, yeah, sorry about that cut. Um, I was talking about what I think I might be doing in this half, tactic-wise, maybe if I change it or not. Um. But then the dog started barking and everything. So I had to stop the recording, let him out, and then start the recording again. This is one of those things. Pets, what can you do? What can you do? But we have a good 2 0 cushion right this second. Hamilton, I'm hoping he gets his hat trick today. That's a very good block there, but he's offside as well. I do hope he gets his hat-trick. He's had two attempts to get a hat-trick, and he hasn't got it yet. But we are looking for substitution soon. I think it'll be Lua coming off rather than Hamilton if I make a substitution for um, a striker. But Anderson, back over the top, doesn't come to anything. Didn't come to anything at all. So we are going to bring off Anderson. We're going to bring on Rolls. We're going to swap those two around. Um, yep. Yeah. And then... And he's back. And then we're going to bring on... Jaden Davis. And we're going to bring on Walker. Well, that is what we're going to do. Bradley Green. Lewington with a good save. Ball's cleared. It's down to Anderson. Davis now with the ball. Tries to go over top for Hamilton, but it doesn't come up with it. Guile. All right, so it's with Marsh Hughes. Khan. Lamprick gets it back from the interception from Parker. So now Davis has it. Gale. I called him Guile, didn't I? But Walker here holds it up a tiny bit, carries on running, takes a shot, and is scored as well. I didn't bring him on for the first game, but I brought him on for a second, so that's his first appearance and his first goal. What an impact off of the bench. I feel bad for this. Because this is... I know for a fact that as soon as I get up, to go and let him in. He will run away. So I wait until he jumps at the door. But it's just staring at me. But it looks like we're going to win this 3 0, which is good. I'm just hoping this game finishes before he jumps up at the door. Because he, he knows that if he wants to come in, he just jumps at the door and someone will let him in instantly. What's he going to do? He's got up, but we've just had a corner there. Davis. Oh, man. And that's the game. That's 3-0. Well, that is a very good game. He's staring at me. He's still staring at me. He is still staring at me. It's 
still staring. <laughs> but that was a very good 3-0 win there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back for these two games here, the qualifier, actually, no, I'm not. I'll either come back for the second round and the Kings, the name, game, or we'll come back for the third leg. That's why. Okay, anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe if you are new. Leave a like as well if you did enjoy the content. I'll be back at 1pm tomorrow for the next video. Peace.